So they're mono or we've heard from the same source, so from two phase speakers like you see from the sides there, or binaural if heard from a stereo source as in headphones. Um, this was this phenomenon um, was first uh, discovered by Henrik William Do Dove, I think or Dove, in 1839. Um, but no one really researched it till 134 years later uh, by a guy called Gerald Oster in the published article, um, Auditory Beats in the Brain, which brought together many of the um, psychoacoustical sides and the uh, physics sides of the um, science behind it. Uh, this research was first thought, um, Oster believed, to, um, he, he wanted to work out how animals perceive locations, uh, locations of sounds, as in like, how they tell where sounds are coming from, uh, but specifically within a large um, background noise, so like say in the jungle, how a monkey can tell is made is 300 feet to the left. That's to the right, but you know what I mean. also found out this was a diagnostic tool for um, people suffering with uh, Parkinson's disease, and also um, he could tell where women were in their menstrual cycle uh, due to if a woman was fully in their natural cycle and therefore had estrogen in their body, they could not hear the binaural beats. So, how does all this relate to human beings? Um, as some of you may not be aware or may be aware of, um, our brains create a certain frequency for the state of consciousness we're in. Uh, these are called the EG um, frequencies or electrons. Well, I'll let you read that yourself. Um, they cut, there's five different strands of frequencies. There's the delta waves, which are below 3.5 hertz. These are commonly associated with deep sleep uh, and REM, you know, when you're really deep uh, dreaming. There's theta waves, 3.5 to 7 hertz, which are um, hypnotic states and re when you're really relaxed. Alpha waves, which are 7 hertz to 13. That's um, awake, even though um, relaxed, so like 10 a daydream. Uh, beta waves, which are 13 hertz to 40 hertz, which is fully awake and fully focused, and gamma wave, um, which is above 40 hertz, higher mental activity. So, um, people, mind readers, and things are sometimes related to having higher mental ability, um, and they are normally using EEG frequencies above 40 hertz. But as big musicians, we all know, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz is 20 hertz. 20